It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and here we're here on the infected. And just a real quick reminder. If you haven't entered for the troop com video, click on my face. Definitely sign up. You can do infected or survivors, either one. Give me troop composition. Watch the video, get the info. But without further ado, let's get into the infected side of the game. A lot of fun. Pretty different compared to survivors. Different feel, different strategies, just different things like that. So today we're pretty much just gonna kind of look around. I haven't been on the zombies for too long. And it's just kind of I'm just kind of catching up, see what's going on. I'm gonna see if there's any guild raids going on right now. And if there is, I'll jump in. If not, I'm just going to kind of keep chilling out around here. Just kind of seeing what is going on. Well, nothing's happening. <laughs> nothing's happening on my world right now. And I'm just going to keep kind of looking around and see what I can see. But right now, not seeing too much. I don't even, what's this? Shanghai? That's done. Alright. Well, since everything is pretty much done, I'm going to start off with Manila and get some stuff. All right, I'm, so I'm gonna throw an aftershock here. Let me just pick up aftershock real quick, and I'm actually gonna get rid of him. Throw my assassin, bring him around. Biohazard, I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna bring in, just kind of knock out Manila real quick. You know, quick and easy, easy win. Good amount of XP for the win, and overall, just pretty good. So here we go, Manila. I have fun with this, and. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually just gonna let let's just throw a group of zombies here, and then I'm gonna throw them, all my assassins right there. Hopefully we can knock out a group of them, and I'm just gonna throw down a group of drones on the far end, and let's just let aftershock just go to town right here. So here we go, boom! Aftershock just total KO. Bow. I love it. So I'm gonna, so I'm actually wondering what's gonna happen when I stim aftershock. And I probably should wait a little bit, but still, because when you send the destructor, it pretty much turns into like a rapid fire machine gunner, so it's actually I'm interested to see if it does anything differently. Let's see. What's it do? I guess it just makes his damage and everything just double, makes him bigger. Pretty much just cool stuff happens. Big electric explosion. All sorts of stuff. He's going away very soon. Aftershock will not exist soon. Well, he will exist in our hearts. But he's going to be going away in the next update. And that is very, it's like just around the corner. I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited for the change of pace, new look, everything. Mess around with the new stuff that's going to be coming up. I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have a ton of fun with it. But Aftershock's just pounding away at the hospital, knocks it out. Just got to take out those last few humans, and they're gone. And that is a three star. I love it. All right, so we got three stars. Got a ton of XP. Got some other stuff along with it. I love it. And now we're just gonna kind of mess around in some other places and just see what's going on. All right, so here's what we got. Moom. This is Mumbai. Mumbai. All right. So I'm gonna throw my harbinger. I have fun with the harbinger. I mean, just kind of like messing around with it. I'm actually gonna get these assassins as well. Let's accept that, go on hard, and just keep rolling. It's kind of funny because I actually have my um, Survivor's account loaded up right here. Just kind of looking at it, seeing if the guild's talking or anything. And so far, nothing. There it is. Yeah, it's not working. Alright, but here we go. This is where we are in the present. We are on the infected. So here, I'm going to throw a, star, a few drones here. And I'm just going to throw all my assassins out at once. See what they can go do. So they can, see if they can just tear up everybody. I want to see if that will happen. Because they can't be seen by anybody. And they just kind of wreck people. I guess they can get, they'll can get. they be seen when they attack somebody. If that might be it. I'm not sure. But if that's the case. That's actually really cool. Because they're just going to wipe through people. Alright. So I'm going to start I'm gonna start a group right over here. It's going to be pretty easy. Because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop my harbinger. Blow up those guys. They're one plus a harbinger, and that's just a evil combination. It's just gonna wipe them out, no problem. So we just need to start take out this group right over here, and we should be nearly done. So we're pretty much just kind of wiping out this group pretty quick and easy. Not too many problems. Just kind of wrecking. 
So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm really spreading out my drones at the wrong the different pads. That way I can have a lot, large widespread area taking down all the different groups at once. That way I'm not having everything concentrated, concentrated in one area. Because I found that when I pretty much just spammed all my drones from one pad, sometimes they get caught up in walls, caught up in certain places, and they wouldn't be able to beat the entire round and get the three star. So things that I started doing is kind of spreading them out, learning how to strategize, but placing those different points and just kind of timing because you want to make sure you have enough drones. You don't want to run out of drones because if you run out of drones, you can't mutate any more zombies and you're going to not, you're just not going to be able to win. So I pretty much always bring an infector with me. That way, if I do run out, I can easily just throw him down. He's going to go over there and get me more drones. So as you see, he's kind of walking right over there. Does this little swimmy thing, gets me 10 more drones. I can just throw them down, and that way I have an extra group just in case I do run out completely. But right now for this last round, we're just kind of taking out these humans, and that's going to be it, I think. Yep. Finished it off with the three-star. Bow. And we got some more brains. I love it. All right, so we're about 4,300 brains. 219 coins and 10,175 DNAs things. So with that being said, I'm gonna upgrade my biohazard. No, not biohazard. My spitter, defiler, whatever that is. Upgrade. I'm gonna evolve him really quick. See if I can't. I mean, if I can, I will. So let's confirm that and take out some of these guys. I don't want to take out too many of my infectors. All right, that's good enough. I'm not gonna take any more infectors. Take out some. Actually, I need to save these. Because I do have some stuff coming up that I may need them for. Alright, Titan. I have a lot. I used to have a ton of Titans. It was crazy. I had an unreal amount of Titans. I didn't even know. And I had so many just sitting in my um, little dock area. I don't really like morticians, personally. Not my favorite. And then I can definitely get rid of one of these defilers. Let's consume that. Evolve it. 11. And he's going to be in our new group. Let's check out <laughs> Bangkok. Yeah, I'll do Bangkok. Alright, so let's uh, take out my one infector and throw in my new defiler. And I guess we're bringing biohazards with. So, at the certain level I am, I'm actually able to pretty much just spawn everybody at one point. But when you are at lower level, you kind of want to spread everything out. But actually, it kind of depends on the map, actually. So, in this case, I'm actually going to. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start. I'm going to pretty much set on a solid group right here. Pretty large group of zombies here. And I'm going to throw down all my biohazards in the back. That way they're protected by the drones, they're not going to get wiped out, and they're able to take out all those troops as they're pushing forward, and they're not going to have any problems getting killed, and it's pretty much going to be pretty easy pickings for them. Now, in this case, I took out all these guys, There's no, they're not behind a wall, so I'm going to throw down an infector, and I'm just going to get more drones. So I'm going to throw out a little bit more group, a little bit bigger group right here, to start get working on that wall over there so we can kind of push through a little bit faster. But in the meantime, I'm going to throw down a group of drones right over here, and I'm actually going to use my new level 11 evolved defilers to kind of help out and take out some of these troops. So let's shoot right over this wall. I'm going to stim up these guys a little bit, get them a little bit more power. Shooting right over that wall, taking out those gunfighters like nobody's business whatsoever. We knocked them all out, and we're just kind of we're just moving on now. All right. So we are just pushing through. I love it. All right. So I'm going to throw down in pretty much the rest of my drones right over here on this pad. I have plenty of drones. I know I'm not going to run out, so that's pretty good. So now we just got to wipe out. Is that a dead shot? <clears throat> that's annoying. I'm using this. The drone guys are about to explode. Boom. Took out the dead shot. No more problems with him. So I have an infector that I want to use, and I'm actually going to throw him right over by this hospital once that goes down. That way I'll be able to get some more drones. I can throw it out and just make the drone horde a little bit bigger. So that's my favorite thing to do if you guys probably know that. I just love making the largest possible drone little group that could ever be made. And I have so much fun with it. Alright, so I throw down my infector right over there. He's going to hopefully turn around. Alright, there we go. So we just did a little turnaround thing right there. He's going to start getting me some more people to use. And I'm actually going to throw another one right over here. Okay, so they got through that wall. I'm going to throw down one more right there. Speed it up just a tad and start just deploying all of these extra zombies that I'm getting. So that's just a solid group more. And if I zoom out, you can see how it's pretty big. I mean, it's not the biggest that I've ever had, but it's pretty decent size. I think it's pretty good. So we cleared that one, three stars, and that was a winner. That was pretty good. We got three stars, got some more brains. I love it. Just keep working on our way up.
So, guys, just in case you didn't know, if you're still watching at the end, um, I'm planning on having the new series. Uh, I think it's going to start on Monday just because of my schedule and what I'm dealing with right now. I'll give you guys a little bit more time to kind of submit your things. So, Monday is probably going to be the viewer's choice, episode number one, and go from there. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next episode.